Hey everyone, Danny here from iDanny, and as you can see right here, I have another unboxing video. And if you guys have been following me on my socials, you know that I went to see Blue Beetle in theaters last night, and I absolutely not only fell in love with the character, but fell in love with the movie. It's probably my favorite comic book movie ever made as of now. Uh, and I just could not resist going and getting this action figure. Of course, I knew Blue Beetle and the story behind Blue Beetle and Javier Reyes, uh, but when I first saw this movie and saw how great it was last night, how captivated I was by not only his character, but his world, his uh, hometown, uh, and just how cool this awesome DC Comics character was, I needed to get myself this awesome, well, it can't technically be called a figure because it's actually called a statue. There is no moving pieces. But I did get this Tom McFarlane Toys Blue Beetle statue, which I will show you guys exactly what it looks like. Now, normally I keep stuff in box, but this movie was just too good and this statue is just too good so we're gonna unbox this together as you guys can see right there i got it at my store uh, and i'm so excited to open it i've been eyeing this one for a while and i'm finally happy i got it so let's open this up i want to see how cool this figure looks now if you haven't seen this movie and you're kind of indecisive if you should go uh, please don't be one of those people that don't go because somehow, you know, you don't believe in the new vision of DC and what James Gunn has planned. I can assure you this movie is the new start of the DCEU. It is amazing uh, and it definitely needs to be seen on the biggest screen there is. The music is incredible. The acting is incredible. The family, the plot points, uh, and especially the action. It is so intense, so action-packed, it needs to be experienced. So, we're gonna open this up, if I can open it up. Oh, it's right on there. So, this of course is the Blue Beetle from the new movie. Let's get this part of the multiverse. So, of course inside you got the collectible card, which I'm gonna try and get without completely destroying this box. But, I might have to, we'll see. So I'm gonna take this out because we're gonna need the base. Oh. All right, so we want the base in there. Of course, it is protected by some plastic, so we're gonna try and take this out here. But it is very hard. There we go. These ones are very tricky sometimes to take out, but we need the base. So we got the very cool card that not only tells you a little bit of his backstory. Uh, but it's a great collectible to keep. And we have our very amazing DC display stand. Put that over there. All right, so let's take out our base first, which is of course folded in here by some plastic, so be very careful. So this is actually really cool. It's not heavy, so you know, it's not like it's super, super heavy, but it does have the scarab beetle right there. And of course it says blue beetle on the bottom. And of course, uh, blue beetle is gonna rest on top of this and it has the holes in the bottom so that we can put our base in there, which we're gonna do. Let's see if I can get this in my first go. Maybe I can't, let's see. Okay, so it clicks in there, so it's nice and sturdy. So we got that. And now, let's take out our main boy here, who is so good in this movie, as he is in Cobra Kai. Um, and like, there, there's so many instances that reference video games and other DC films. DC, and other characters, I should say. Okay, so let's get this back out of here. So remember guys, this is not an action figure. This is a statue. Let's see if 
I can get it out of here. Oh, he's still boxed in. I did not see that. <laughs> so he's still boxed in there in his arms. No wonder he wasn't coming back. I used to like the uh, the string. It, the string was a lot easier than that than the uh, the plastic. So he has two things grappled onto his not only his waist but his arm as well. So. Try that attempt again. All right, so we got our figure, and the figure is nice and heavy, uh, definitely very detailed. The probably the best DC Comics uh, or any comic book uh, accurate costume, of course. His tentacles now. You need to see the movie to see him in action, see how cool uh, he actually is. He's a very powerful DC hero. Uh, and they did such incredible justice with this movie. And let's put our awesome guy on the base here. Where is it? This way. I might have put it the wrong way. Hmm. Now, there is a certain way, I'm guessing, that we put this. There we go. And there we go, guys. It is on our base. It is looking pretty freaking sweet. Uh, and I am so happy that I picked that up. Let me get a nice and close shot there without it getting blurry. So, the base and the figure are perfectly put there. As you can see, my cat Anemone is there on our background, which I didn't even see her pop up. Say hi to the camera, Anemone. But yeah, we got that, which is on a great base. Of course, we have our cool collector's um, card here, which of course talks about his family. Uh, basically, it's the synopsis to the movie. Uh, so, you know, I won't give any spoilers about that, but. Guys, you definitely need to go and check out this DC movie. Absolutely incredible. Don't forget to get some merchandise from the movie because I have a feeling that this movie down the line would be a cult classic. Uh, it's, it's so good, guys. I can't stress how good this movie is. But that is it for our unboxing today. I want to thank you guys so much for being here. And don't forget to hit that follow button on iDanny. And uh, hopefully you'll join me on all my other socials, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, I am on uh, Twitch. I am pretty much everywhere that you can think of. So make sure you check it out, guys, and hit that follow button. Take care, everyone. I will see you all next time for another unboxing video. Danny out.